right, welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we're gonna be going over my favorite products and tools for interior car detailing. Now, in my garage, without a doubt, one of my favorite interior detailing tools is my Cox vacuum hose reel. Now, those of you that have been following the channel for a while, I did a full install on this. I'll put a link up above, but man, this thing is amazing. It does cost a pretty penny. There's no doubt about that. But I'll tell you what, with ease of use over time, man, it's gonna make up for it no problem. Now, some of my favorite things about this, this comes in two different models, a 50 footer and a 35 footer, depending on the size of your garage. My garage is about 25 feet diagonally across. So man, I went with the 35 footer. And I'll tell you what, when it's time to use it, you just reel it out, flick the switch, boom. And you're vacuuming that quick, man. No doubt about it, man, that is convenient. When it comes time to put it away, just as simple, just roll it back up. And boom, you are done that easy. Now all of you people out there that have been stringing out cords and wrapping hoses up and fighting that beast, you know what I mean? This thing is pretty darn cool. There's no doubt about it. Now let's talk about some of the questions I get asked about it. I have the rigid portable vac up there and I've owned that machine a lot longer than the real. And man, I was always more than happy with its performance. No doubt about it. It takes up a very small footprint produces some really good suction. So naturally I decided I'm going to hook it up to the vac reel and see what happens, man. What, what do I got to lose? And I'll tell you what, man, it's been performing unbelievable ever since. My initial plan was to put a full blown commercial style, uh, heavy duty wall mounted vacuum up there, but I just haven't had to because it's doing so well with the suction and the, the ease of use up there and it's tucked out of the way. And you know, I'm not the kind of guy that's going to go out and spend $2,000 in scientific equipment to try to see what the loss of suction is through this hose reel. But one thing I can tell you is, is that it does the job extremely well and I'm unable to notice any noticeable suction reduction. <laughs> that's a good one, suction reduction uh, in this system. But what I can say is it pulls the dirt out easy and pretty much. I mean, that's pretty much all I got on that. So this is an amazing tool, one of my favorites. All right, let's move on. Another tool I really like, if you want to call it that, I guess it's more of a product, but Express Interior Cleaner by PNS. Now, I'm not sponsored by these people, man. I bought this with my own money. It's good stuff. It goes on easy, wipes off easy, doesn't leave any streaks. It smells reasonable. It says pleasant smell. I've done a review on this if you want to check that out. I'll put a link up there and it'll go into all about this product, but I like it because it's easy and and I like easy and I like good results. Now, when I'm using the Express Interior Cleaner, I put it into a hand pump sprayer. It just doesn't warrant using a, a, a big pump sprayer like this. I'm not putting that much product. You need very little of this. You basically just want enough to get the job done. So um, pump sprayer works great. Once I get the product on, I like to agitate it in with these detail brushes. Now, this is the soft bristle one. This one's really, really soft. Like, like for all the women out there putting makeup on, you could just put this, use this in a pinch. <laughs> it's that soft. It's not going to damage. It's not going to scratch or mar any of your interior stuff. That's for sure. Now we get into the next level, the boar's hair detail brush. This has a little bit more coarseness to it. This would be more for maybe on a truck where you put your arm up on the door and you got that kind of grainy plastic and you can't get the dirt out of it, this will help agitate some of that out. But it does have a little bit more uh, coarseness to it, so be careful with that. But, but this is also a really safe, good brush to use for in interior cleaning. Now, once we get the product agitated in, I like to come back behind with my microfiber towel. I use a dual nap. Very small on one side, big on the other. That gets you to, it gives you options to, to uh, work the product the way you want to work it, either with the thin nap or the thick nap. That's up to you. All right, so that's pretty much all I got with the cleaning side of it. Uh, in terms of UV protection, here's another question I get all the time about interior detailing. Uh, what's a good UV protectant for my car? 303 Aerospace Protectant does a really good job. It's one of the few products that have a true matte finish. You can tell products on there, but it's not overwhelming. It's not like the old Armor All days where you're like, man, I need sunglasses to even look at that dashboard. That thing looks soaked. <laughs> 
<laughs> but you know what? It goes, a lot of people like this on everything because you can hardly tell it's on there. I myself, I just like a pure raw look uh, that the Express Interior Detail Cleaner gives me. And I don't, I'm not worried about UV protection on my car because I have tints on all the glass. So the tint protection for UV is up in the high 90s. I'm not sure the exact number, but I don't really need any UV protection in the car. Besides, my car lives in the garage. Yeah, sure, I'm out, but I'm just, but if you're sitting out, your car's sitting out there in the, in the blazing sun all day, you have no tints on the car, I would highly consider a good UV protectant on all your dash and everything. My favorite spot to use this is like door jams, areas that's uh, not noticeable that I want a little bit of protection on. Makes cleaning next time a lot easier too. Great product, you should try that out. Okay, another neat thing that I like to do, this is kind of one of my secret weapons. It's not secret because I use it every day on this channel, every time I make a video almost. It's the bead maker, man. Now you might ask, what am I gonna do with a paint protectant on the interior? What I found is, man, anything, like the in the Model 3, there's that gloss black center console. Man, one day I went in there with some bead maker on a rag and I just wiped it in and I went, wow, it made it look so shiny, so slick, so nice. It looked brand spanking new. Man, I was like, I'm gonna start using this in, in the interior too. Now, another good spot for the bead makers on the infotainment center. Now, everybody, when they first got their iPhone, was like, wow, that screen is slick and feels amazing. If you want that feeling on your infotainment center, man, the bead maker does it, man. That's a secret for you. Um, so again, just a very, very little light spritz of the product. Come back behind with one side of the towel. Wipe it in, level it out, flip the towel over, and then come back and buff it off to a, to a nice uh, shiny luster. I wouldn't leave it on there long. Just put it on and get it off, man. And I'll tell you what, it works amazing. I've been doing that for a very long time. And I'll tell you what, the screen is super slick. It looks brand spanking new. And all that black stuff looks awesome. So a little tr trick for you there. But one of my, uh, another good product that I like to use on the interior is the Invisible Glass by Stoner. Now you see everybody using this, man. This isn't any secret, you know? Spray it on, it goes on really easy. It's safe for tints, which is important. I got tints on all the glass and a lot of your customers or a lot of your vehicles may have tints on it too. You don't wanna use, you know, Windex and have it get underneath the tints and start puckering it up. So make sure you're using good products on your vehicle. Um, and I use two different types of uh, microfibers for this. This is kind of cool. This is a mitt. This has a thicker pile on one side so you can agitate it in and then it has the waffle weave on the other so you can wipe it off and it's really easy. Just put it on, wipe it off, man. That's a cool little deal there. And another one of my favorites is this ultra low nap towel. Now this has zero lint, man. So if you're, if you're cleaning the windows and you feel like you're getting lint all over the place and you're just going over it, going over it, going over it, you have a cheap microfiber towel or you have the wrong microfiber towel. Either way. So you want to check these out too. They're awesome. So pretty much I'll put links to everything down in the description. I got a, um, a page now with all of my favorite products on it, man. Anybody that goes there and clicks and buys stuff, you know I appreciate that. That helps support the channel, and that's awesome. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing down below, hitting that button, man. Join the team. Every time I see the subscriber count going up and the likes and all the interaction in the comments, it makes me wanna come out here in the garage, get some things happening, try to share some cool stuff with you guys, and man, you know I appreciate it. Um, that's pretty much all I got to say today, man. This is just a little in-between videos kind of video. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you on the next one. Yeah!